adjusting the brightness and contrast within an image. So again, we're going to use this for visualization purposes only just to make the data within the image a little bit clearer. For our example, we're going to use the Zeiss.lsm image. Again, this has three different channels. What we're going to do is convert the lookup table that's in here to something called the high-low lookup table. So in this case, it's here, high-low. So what the high-low lookup table is doing is it colors uh, zero intensity pixels as blue and any saturated pixels as red and there's grayscale in between there. So you may be able to see a little bit of blue uh, intensity in the background here. And at the moment, we don't have any red intensity within the, within the image, which is good. It means the data wasn't saturated when we acquired the, the image. Okay, so to adjust the brightness and contrast, we're going to go to Image, Adjust, Brightness and Contrast, or Control-Shift-C. Ah, here, we've got our intensity histogram and here are our maximum and minimum values. So you see if I move the minimum value in to the right, we're going past the data, we're actually starting to clip information. Okay, so again, you want to be very careful about doing that. On the maximum side, if we decrease this down, you'll see we'll come to a point where we start getting red pixels where we're actually saturating the, the image. So this image looks like it was taken with pretty much most of the dynamic range. One thing to be very wary of uh, when you're using the brightness and contrast, and a lot of people use the auto function, you can see it does some very strange things to your uh, image quality, so be very, very careful about using the auto function. Here we're going to reset. So we can bring this down to a point where we're starting to get a few red pixels and then bring it back so we don't have any red pixels. Once you hit apply, it's going to rescale between these two points, these minimum and maximum points, across your full 16-bit range, for example, here. So you can apply here. And now, rather than using the high-low lookup table, you can put it back into whatever um, lookup table you wanted. You can do that, go through, move to the next channel, repeat the process, using the high-low to allow you to move the minimum and maximum positions, hit apply once you're happy, put the lookup table back to the correct um, color, and then move on to the next channel.